question for today is, what saints do I have a devotion to? And the first saint is St. Anthony of Padua. My grandfather was, was very, very sick. And my grandmom prayed through the intercession of St. Anthony that if he were to recover, and if they were to have a son, they would name him Anthony in honor of St. Anthony of Padua. He got better, and that was my father who was born, Anthony Joseph, and then I was named for my father in honor of St. Anthony also. And St. Anthony has been a saint that has been so inspiring to me. St. Anthony had both a gentleness, but also a very clear way of proclaiming the gospel and preaching the word of God. St. Anthony suffered some illnesses in his life. Initially, he was planning to do something else as a missionary, but he ended up doing a lot of teaching, and he ended up traveling some with his preaching too. I've also really developed a great devotion to the saints and the parishes that I've been assigned to. My second parish was St. Anne's Parish in Philadelphia. And I really developed a great understanding of the special intercession of, of St. Anne as the mother of our Blessed Mother and really such a special person, a patron of, of grandmothers. St. Anne continues to be a, a very special part of my life. The parish that I came to prior to being here at St. Agnes was St. Francis of Assisi. And there was always such beautiful, beautiful things to know about St. Francis of Assisi. But one of the things we know he has a great love for nature and that for animals. We know how he worked with the poor and so many have, have flocked to his community. But St. Francis of Assisi had a really tender devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. And the Blessed Sacrament really has been naturally a central part in the spirituality and the prayer of the priest, particularly as I would celebrate Mass each day. Connected with the Eucharist, I'll just name one more, one of our own saints here in Philadelphia, St. Catherine Drexel. Her love for the Blessed Sacrament really was summed up in the spirit of the Eucharist as the total gift of self. And she provides both an inspiration and a challenge to us. I am really looking forward to get to know St. Agnes better. And I am sure that as these days go along, as I am here in the parish longer, St. Agnes will be a very special friend of mine and the devotion to her will deepen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.